I have a 17 year old daughter um, that I don't like. <laughs> I love all my kids, but you gotta admit if you're a parent, you got one kid that you would like to fuck up sometime. <laughs> what, are you a parent? You got any kids? Nope. nope. Dang. <laughs> no wonder y'all look so rich. <laughs> I'm getting a fucking dog. <laughs> But I have a 17-year-old daughter that I don't like. I mean, I be want to fuck up sometimes. I mean, let me ask you something. You ever been so upset at your kids, white people, that you want to call them niggers? <laughs> That's how mad I get at you. So you got to be really mad to use that word, right? Right? How many times you said nigga in traffic, you was really mad, right? <laughs> He's like, you are not gonna get me to agree to that shit. <laughs> I mean, she crazy. My daughter is crazy as fuck, y'all. Like, I live in a small little town in, in uh, Indiana, y'all. And uh, she go to this all-white, mostly all-white school, probably 10 black kids. And she come home the other day. I'm like, how was your dad's school? She was like, I hate going to Alf Crackerstein. <laughs> like, what the fuck is Alf Crackerstein? She called her school Alf Crackerstein. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I hate going to Alf Crackerstein. Cause my daughter's really into being black. Like she's rocking an all natural afro and she walking through the school like she got her black power phrase on and she all happy and proud to be black. And I'm happy to be black too until the police fuck with her. <laughs> and I asked her the other day, she always want to talk about race. So I asked her, I was like, look baby, are you racist? She was like, no, I'm not racist. Cause she always talk about race every day. I'm like, well, why you always talk about race? She was like, cause I'm race conscious. I'm like, what the fuck is race conscious? <laughs> she said, I know what white people think about us. I'm like, well, what do white people think about us? She said, they think we unemployed and we lazy. I'm like, you are unemployed and lazy. <laughs> you need to stop being race conscious and come job conscious <laughs> before I knock your big ass unconscious. I mean, I don't like her because, let me tell you, my husband's like, Pat, I think we should allow the kids to vent. I say, fuck them. <laughs> they don't help us pay our car notes and mortgage. Why the fuck should I listen to some fucking Af Cracker stand problem? <laughs> so he's like, we need to allow the kids to vent. I said, okay, I'll try this soccer mom shit. I'll let the kid, i let them vent. My daughter come home two days ago, y'all. She come in and she sat at the table, didn't even speak to me, just started talking to her daddy. And she carrying on about what she learned at school and she gonna look at me to my mama. What you know about history? I said, I know three people got killed in Chicago last night. <laughs> she like, that is not history. I said, yes it is, bitch, it had, happened last night, so it's history. <laughs> she was like, I am so much smarter than you. I'm like, you smarter than me? I'm like, bitch, do you know how to turn cocaine into crack? <laughs> do you know how to run from the police with a baby in your arm and not drop the baby? <laughs> I didn't say that to her. What kind of parent do you think I am? <laughs> Would never say that shit to her. <laughs> but I don't like her. Like, she, like... <laughs> I love her, but I do not like this child. A week ago, she gonna come in my room to my mama. I'm like, what, girl? I need you to get up in the morning at six o'clock and take me to Starbucks. I'm like, for what? She like, cause all the cool kids come to school with Starbucks. I said, you want me to get out of my bed with my titties hanging <laughs> and take you to Starbucks so you can look cool? I said, you have lost your fucking mind. <laughs> I said, you better go to Starbucks tonight and get you a cup. and put you some hot chocolate in the morning. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna know you got no bootleg Starbucks. <laughs> Unless you run around giving out sips and shit. 
You don't lost your goddamn mind. You want me to get up and make you cool. I'm like, that's what cool have come to now? When I was in school, cool was the cool kids smoke weed, had sex in the gym. You mean to tell me cool have come to a fucking cup of coffee? You have lost your fucking mind. You think... She crazy. I'm telling you, my daughter is crazy. I be want to fuck up. Like she, let me tell you, she always throwing little dibs at me. She think I ain't catching them right. So she was running around the house last year when she turned 17. She was like, I'm 17 and I'm a virgin. I'm 17 and I'm a virgin. So I'm thinking to myself, the only reason why you 17 and you a virgin is because we live in an all white neighborhood and these white boys ain't gonna fuck your big black ass looking like the PE teacher. <laughs> I didn't say that to her. What kind of mama do you think I am? 